All right, thanks for watching this video, guys. This is Mr. Sal. We're going to use a system of equations in order to solve this word problem. The admission fee at an amusement park is $1.50 for children, $5.20 for adults. On a certain day, 344 people entered the park, and the admission fees collected totaled $1,108. How many children and how many adults were admitted? So we'll start this one uh, using, or just writing the equations, which sometimes can be the most difficult part. If you understand uh, any of the three methods that we've gone over so far for solving systems of equations, or even if you understand the future ones we're going to go over, matrices, uh, then uh, solving it may be simple, it's just setting it up that may be a little confusing. So to figure this out, we just need to look at what are we comparing here? We've got uh, children's tickets and adult tickets. All right, so I'm going to make these columns like this. So the child or children's information will go below what I've written here, and the adult information will go below this. Now remember, if I combine these, I should have some totals uh, for the equations, or this is just what it equals. That will be this column right here. And in terms of children's and adults' tickets, what are we comparing here? Well, we can compare the dollars and the actual tickets, right? So what this allows us to do is to write two equations, one based on cost and one based on tickets. From the children, the cost we can see there is $1.50. And we'll say that the children's tickets is x, so that's our x. And if we add that to the adult tickets, which we're going to say is Y, the number of adult tickets, uh, the cost of the adult tickets was $5.20 for each adult ticket. So we'll multiply that by the Y, the number of adult tickets, in order to find the cost. Now, if we combine these together, we can see from the words that they collected in cost $1,108. This gives us the first equation. Now, on the other hand, in terms of tickets, we don't know how many children's tickets were sold, and we don't know how many adult tickets were purchased, but that if we combine these two or add them together, we get 344. This is the setup for the system of, the system of equations. Now, you could find common coefficients between these two equations. However, uh, manipulating the second equation, the ticket equation, will make it very easy to use substitution. So that is the method I'm going to use for this problem. So in this equation, I'm just going to solve for x. I would subtract y from both sides. And that will give me this blue equation. x equals, it was 344, then it's minus y. So this gives me something to substitute or replace into this first equation, in this case, for x. You could have subtracted x from both sides. It doesn't matter, okay, as long as we get to substitute or replace a value in this first equation. Let's go ahead and rewrite that. All right, so I've rewritten this top equation here, but instead of x, I've used the 30, 344 minus y. Next thing I'm going to do is to distribute the 150 and from the distribution, we get 516 minus 150y plus 520y equals 1180. Next thing we're going to do is combine like terms. So we got a negative 150 plus 520y each, and the rest of it stays the same. All right, so this is what we have right here. We'll subtract 516 from both sides, and that gives us a 3.70y equals 592. Finally, to solve for y, we'll just divide both sides by the 3.70, and that would give us an answer that y equals 160k. Okay. Now, if we look back here, right there, we see that y is the number of adult tickets. So this would be 160 adult tickets, which is one of our answers here. The next thing we need to do is solve for the x, and since we've already manipulated this equation to solve for x, we can do that pretty quickly, all right? So 
we'll just rewrite this. x equals 344 minus the y now is 160. So we've replaced that. 344 minus 160 tells us that x is 184. And x was, back here, we see that it's the number of children's tickets right there. So we'll just box that in and we have our two answers. 184 children's tickets, 160 adult tickets. Once again, please, please check your answers using the two original equations. Because if one of them is incorrect or false, gives us a false statement, then we need to go back amongst all this work and just double check to see what we did wrong.